It's a walk-off, ladies and gentlemen, as the Blue Jays win. 8-7 over the healthy Cleveland Indians in the bottom of the ninth inning of a walk-off single from Ryan Goins and win the series. You know what, guys? I gotta say, coming into the series, I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be a very tough series to win because they're healthy. They have Bauer, Carrasco, and Salazar going for them. You know, and we had Lariano today who was... Well, let's before we start talking about today's game, you know, he's been okay but hasn't been really consistent. Bull Singer made his first start. And, uh, you know, then Stroman, again, he did he did well, but it got in tough situations, but got out of it. You know, I didn't think it was going to be a series win, but the Blue Jays proved me wrong. The Kendrys Morales-less Toronto Blue Jays, as he's, um, just a recap on him, he is day-to-day -day with, ha with a strained hamstring. Hopefully, he's not out too long, and hopefully they can get him right back in the lineup because he's a potent bat nonetheless. Now, this was a ridiculously crazy first four innings. I mean, let's break this thing down, right? Top of the first inning, Lariato cannot find the strike zone. You know, uh, what does he do? He walks Santana. Lindor singles. Then Kipnis doubles. He comes around and scores. Or those two come around and score. It's a 2 nothing lead. Still no one out. He gets out of that inning. Great. We get to the bottom half of that inning. Blue Jays get a couple runners. Pilar gets on. Carrera gets on. Bang! Bautista with a three-run shot. His first home run at Rogers Center this season. His third home run of the season. And 3-2 Blue Jays. Just like that. Uh, nothing happens in the second inning. Remarkably. And then in the third inning, third inning all hell breaks loose. You know, Kipnis singles to right, Santana Santana scores. Uh, Jose Ramirez singles, Lindor scores. You know, and then Geyer triples, clearing Kipnis, Encarnacion, and Jose Ramirez. It is 7-3 Indians. And at this point, everyone's like, okay, okay, get this guy out of there. Well, they did. And my goodness, did our bullpen just beat the Cleveland Indians bullpen? We'll break that down in a little bit, but... And then in the bottom of the third, right? Nothing really, not, that was it for the top of the third for them. It was 7-3 heading into our half of the third. Get a couple runners on. Get, I think it's second and third with one away. Steve Pierce up. A lot of people are scared that he's going to strike out, I, I, including myself. But he finds a way to prove me wrong, and it's a sacrifice fly uh, uh, to, uh, to right. Scoring Jose Bautista, 7-4. Okay. Then Ryan Goins singles to uh, what to center field. Justin Smoke scores. It's seven five. Okay, it's only the third inning. Still a lot of baseball to play. Top of the fourth happens. No score. Bottom of the fourth. Um, you know Ryan. Uh, who is it gets on base? Darwin Barney, right? Uh, and then Ezekiel Carrera with two out. A two out hit. Hits a two run shot to right. His third home run of the season. Ezekiel Carrera. And tying the game up at seven. This is all in the first four innings. And then nothing happens till the bottom of the ninth inning. Where Cody Allen cannot throw a strike with his curveball. So Ryan Goins goes up to the plate thinking he will throw me first pitch fastball and I will be aggressive. And that is exactly what he got. And that is exactly what he did as he lined it down the right field line. Walk off, Blue Jays win. Ah, oh, it's so gorgeous. It is beautiful because they're eight games under 500 now. They've won three of their last four series, and the, the one series they lost was against the Yankees, and they had a four nothing lead. Stroman uh, gave out, you know, had a tough outing, and that was a that was a gong show. A game you could have won, you could have won four in a row, but you didn't. You've won two two series in a row. Right? You've won three of your last four. You're playing better baseball. Somehow, since you're hurt, your whole lineup is depleted. We'll go through the injury report in a second. But what a job by the Jays today. And i got to give a ton of credit to uh, you know Ezekiel Carrera for coming in off the bench. You know, countless occasions, right? You never know which day you're going to play, who you're facing, and all that stuff. He comes in today and goes three for five with a home run, two RBIs, and scores two runs and scores the game-winning run. Now, again, I'm going to give a ton of credit where credit is due. And that is in that ninth inning with Cody Allen on the mound. They get Pilar the leadoff guy. 
And we're all thinking, okay, you know, well, we expect this from their closer, who's a stud. Then Ezekiel Carrera dumps, or bloops a single into center. All right, we got a base hit. There you go. And then we got uh, Bautista. He strikes out. Oh, great runner at first with two out. Maybe a walk off home. Uh, maybe a walk off home run. Home run from Smoke. He goes down 0-2 in the count. Then he finds a way to just grind it out and get a walk out of it. He gets on. Okay, two on a single. Well, probably. Well, probably will win you the game. Steve Pierce, again, I think it was a 2-2 count or a 1-2 count, grinds back, takes the walk. And a lot of those misses, a lot of those walks are from his curveball, who when he, Cody Allen could not throw a strike with his curveball when he needed to uh, in those big situations today. And then Ryan Goins, knowing that he's been throwing a lot of balls with a curveball, goes up there, first pitch fastball, and drills it into right. Just a bunch of heads-up plays by the guys today. A bunch of grinded out at bats. Cody Allen threw over 30, what was it, 34 pitches or some crazy. I'm actually going to look at this because that was a crazy number amount of pitches he threw. He threw 32 pitches in this game in one inning and got the loss. That's beautiful. And Ryan Goins has been seeing the ball well and been looking really good. He was 2-for-3 in this one, obviously, with the RBI as the game winner now i am like a, the reason i said i'm shocked that we won this game russell martin's on the dl our starting catcher we have luke maley instead of him aaron sanchez on the dl we had mike bolsinger pitching in his spot troy tulowitzki out of the lineup you could say goins or barney whichever one you want to choose they're not bad but he's they're no troy tulowitzki of the name of the some sort of the dollars he's making and all that stuff jay hap you still have that kind of that hole to fill you know, Josh Donaldson, again, you could throw Goins, Barney, Coughlin there a few times if you want. You know, as uh, they're, they're not Josh Donaldson. You miss that, right? And then Morales is gone today, right? So it's just a, a tough time to be a Jays fan, but they're finding ways to win. Over their last 10, they are 6-4, and four, which is fantastic. They've won two series in a row. Like I said, they've won three of their last four. They beat a really good and mostly healthy other than uh, Michael Brantley, Corey Kluber. Yeah, okay. But you had to face Bauer, Salazar, and Carrasco. Kluber meant nothing in this series. So this is a big series win for the Jays, but they got to keep the momentum going. They can't just say, all right, we're good, and then slow down and stop. No. Now you are playing the Seattle Mariners, who have won four games in a row. They're a 500 club. Again, you don't have the biggest names facing you. Felix Hernandez is on the DL. That is a positive for Jays fans going into this series. You have Marco Estrada going in game one. They have Chase DeJong. DeJong. 6.75 ERA. Again, on paper, that looks good as a matchup. Game two, you've got Joe Biagini pitching very well in his uh, in his stuff. And Christian Bregman. Bergman. He's pitched three and two thirds innings. I mean, his ERA looks good, but it's only in three and two thirds innings, so it's hard to go off of that. And in the finale, they uh, it's Marcus Stroman. I'm not sure who's going for uh, Seattle then. So again, I'm not saying go into series and start sweeping, but continue to win series. And I haven't mentioned it yet. The bullpen did a fantastic job. I, I said it briefly. Dominic Leone pitched two innings of two hit ball, didn't give up a run, struck out a guy. Danny Barnes has been a stud over the past while he's been here. Two innings, three hits, struck out two guys. Ryan Tapera pitched a clean inning of work, striking out two. Joe Smith in the eight, he's been a really good eighth inning guy. One hit, given up, two strikeouts. And Roberto Osuna did his job in the ninth, one inning pitched, uh, struck out a guy. And the final out in their, in, in their top half of the ninth, Edwin Encarnacion. So Roberto Osuna's ERA is coming down nicely, 3.46. That is better. It's not the Roberto Osuna we know, but it's still good, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this great walk-off win for the Blue Jays. If you like this video and you like the game today and the, and the comeback, they did not quit. I love it. Hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What would you guys think of this game? What would you think of the ninth inning? The bullpen? What are your thoughts on Lariano? Give me everything about this game, you guys. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night as the... Uh, well, you know what? Actually, before we end off, I don't know if anybody's still watching at this point, but 
I will let you guys know, any Raptor fans still wondering when the season finale review thing will happen, it will be when the Jays have an off day. That'll be in that day, which I'm trying to find here. It looks like it's Monday, May 22nd. That looks like the first day. If I'm wrong, I apologize. It'll be sooner then. But May 22nd looks like the day. All right? Up until then, it's just Blue Jays, so they play tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Seattle Mariners in town at the Rogers Center, Rogers Center taking on the Jays. Jays looking to continue winning series and starting series with a win. That's what they've been doing a lot of. Let's do it again. Let's start it tomorrow night. We'll talk to you guys then.